Hello everyone. I want to show you a demonic picture. So if you scare very easily, I advise you to leave the video. So if you scare very easily, if you get scared very easily, I advise you to leave the room. Okay, you have been warned. So let me give some context. Sometimes I text people on Facebook. So usually what I send a person, I think much of the time They can see it if someone sends me something i would say most of the time i receive it unless there is like a connection issue or whatever so so if you text someone i would say much of the time you are going to receive the text the pictures or whatever they may send you unless something is up or whatever. Okay. Sometimes, and this has happened with more than one person. Sometimes through a person's dialogue box to me, sometimes pictures are sent that did not come from the person how can i say this sometimes pictures are sent through another person's account to me if that makes any sense so let's say you have been texting billy and let's say somehow a picture is sent through Billy's account to you. And Billy is telling you that he did not send that picture to you. This is what has been happening with me. I communicate with someone and somehow every so often, demonic pictures are sent to me so yesterday it happened and i don't want to reveal the identity of the person's account in which i received the picture if that makes any sense that person did not send it but as it seems i received it through that person's dialogue box or whatever you call it and i believe that person i believe that person did not send it now I don't really, I guess I could have taken more time to, I guess, blur that person's face on the dialogue box. I guess I could have went to maybe like a, excuse me, a program to where I could have, I am not so good with editing and stuff like that not so good so i have enlarged the picture within the dialogue box without revealing whose account it is if that makes any sense to you so keep in mind that person did not send me that picture and you may think i am lying you may think that um <laughs> 
I am being pranked or something like that. Okay, if it was only the pictures, maybe you would have a point, but other demonic stuff happens as well at times. At times. To where there were times where I had to get down on my knees and begin praying. Some really, really serious stuff. So if you scare very easily, please click off the video because I want to show this picture, not to scare people, or should I say not to scare you, but for educational purposes. Ephesians chapter six, verse 12 is very, very true. Our struggle is with the demonic realm. So let me show you. Do you see this wicked demon here? Do you see it? Now, if I was able to, I would show you how that picture came in or how it was set in that person's dialogue box but I did not want to I do not want to reveal that person's account maybe that person will feel embarrassed but this is the demon here now what if what if you die and you know that you didn't live this life right like let's say that you chose to not repent you chose to not give your life to jesus christ do you see this picture here what if you are stuck with something like this or worse or things like this or worse is it really worth it? Is fornication worth it? Is pornography worth it? Is stealing greed and all that stuff like that worth it when comparing it to this right here? In this life, we can't take this life very simply. This is very, very, very serious. Very serious. Very serious. Now, I believe I have told you. Now, before I saw, I have seen a picture of that demon, but in another way, I believe. But before I seen the first picture of that demon, some things was going on and me and another person was praying and praying and praying. I was looking for answers. I believe we prayed many times. Many, 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 many times, I believe. And I can say this. If it was God, huh, I think he gave me more answers than what I thought he would give if it was God. Like I learned so much. And I don't believe I have seen a picture like this of what I have shown you. I think I have seen other demonic pictures. Maybe I seen one just as bad or worse. I don't really remember. But look at this picture again. Honestly, have you seen a picture like this before? Look at it, red face, long horns. Tch. This is nothing. And every time I see it, it's like my body reacts to it. Maybe your body is reacting to it right now. So, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, please do it. Please do it. 
because it is not worth going against God, going to hell afterward, and having to deal probably with that demon or worse, probably worse. We may hear of hell and say, yeah, I know hell is going to be bad. Hell is really, really bad. But if you look at this picture, if you look at this picture, I believe it gives more context. I believe it gives way more context. This is no game. We are not here. I'm trying to tell you. This is no game. So, um, as you can see, <laughs> I definitely need prayer. Definitely. And let me pray before I end this because. Okay. God, please forgive me for all of my sins. God, please forgive all of us for all of our sins. I lose peace. And good rest to us. I don't want that picture to curse us, to take away our sleep, to haunt us or stay inside of our mind to where we see that image constantly in our minds and get us in fear or keep us in fear. <clears throat> I lose a hedge of protection all around us and around our families. If we are being attacked by demons like this or worse, I rebuke those demons right now in the name of Jesus. I lose peace and protection all around us. And these things I pray in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all.